What is going on guys? This is again Shrix from Smarthard. Welcome to 24th Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you about blocks in Ruby. Now, let's move forward. Let us see what are the features of the blocks in Ruby. First, like methods contains a chunk of code, similarly the block also contains a chunk of codes. Next, similar, similar to the methods, block has also a name like you can give the user defined name to different blocks all the codes inside the block is always enclosed within the curly braces whatever you write within the curly braces becomes the codes of the block in order to call a block you have to call a block from a function whose name is same as that of the block suppose you are having a block named test then you have to call that block from a function named test we will discuss about it later on guys if you are a bit confused right now. Next, we always we have to call a block from inside a function using the statement yield. Whenever you write yield, this statement will call the block from inside that function. Now let us see the syntax of block without parameter. Here we are not using parameter with block. Now, suppose this is a program body and inside the program body we need to define a block for example we are having the block name test here it is a user defined block guys you can use any name you want test test1 test2 or my block my name whatever doesn't matter so here we define the test block within the curly braces we will put our codes here now whenever we execute this program then when interpreter comes to this statement test then it is going to look for the method named test so when this test is executed it will look for the method of name test so we have to define a method here def test that is why guys we are using the same name for this block and this method also now inside the method we are having some statement put us you are in the method it's up to you it's optional whatever you would like to write the code you write now if we write the statement yield now when this yield is executed then it will again call this block but this time it is calling block to execute the code between the curly braces here at present we are not having any codes so nothing will be printed but if we write our codes like this put as you are in the block then finally we will get the output like this you are in the method you are in the block so this test is encountered this will call this method test then you are in the method this is printed here then after that yield is encountered and yield will call execute the codes between the curly braces which is you are in the block so quite simpler guys hope the concepts are not getting clear now let us see the syntax of block with parameters the execution process is almost same it's totally same only the syntax is little bit different now let's check the difference between the block with parameter and block without parameter let's move forward this is our program body this is our test block this is our test method this is you are in the method put s then yield space 5 yes guys this is the parameter which which we are sending to this block test for its execution of the code between the curly braces now when yield 5 is encountered it passes 5 to where to this test block now inside the test block we are having some codes like this within the double sticks we are having this i then put as you are in the block interpolation i so the value 5 is getting cached by this variable i so the in i becomes an integer and with the help of interpolation we are printing this value i so we get the output like this you are in the method this statement then you are in the block 5 pretty easy guys nothing new very easy now let's move forward if you remember guys in ruby tutorial number 4 i taught you begin and end block statements if you don't remember guys please go back to ruby tutorial number 4 and check this out again we learned this begin block which is not the user defined block it is a predefined block then after that comes the block of program body then after that the end block the name of begin and end are the keywords it is not the user defined it is a predefined blocks of the ruby programming first this 
begin will be executed then after this block of program body then at the end this end block will be executed whatever the sequence of the syntax is first begin then after program body then this end block will be executed if you don't remember guys please go back and watch it again so this is all for this tutorial guys in the next tutorial i will i will show you the blocks of codes in the ruby stay tuned please subscribe to my channel and catch you guys in the next tutorial thank you